lessons from the old neighborhood. A frantic flare of rhythmic beauty scorches the sky high above the porches and streets from which they emanate. These beats are exempt from the cultural rape of a society hell-bent on assimilation and creation of wealth for the one with the biggest wall around their house wins. But these Afro-Cuban hymns ridicule that imaginary apex of success with the rapturous song of the conga, which melodically breaks down the barriers among the blacks, Latinos, and Asians that flavor this particular neighborhood, were understood as a labor of one heart beating from the drums of many. This is the soul of community. This is Temple Street. This city is not obvious. It is not pretty either. You may not parachute here and land in amiable loveliness. For that, you will have to be dropped off elsewhere. Pick a different metropolis in the States. San Francisco, Chicago, Seattle, New York, of course, New York. Pick anywhere else if you want easy or logical or sensible. If you desire accessible strolls or subways from one neighborhood to the next. Ones where you don't constantly feel like the lone asshole crossing the street. You can, I believe, at just about any time of day or day of the week, go anywhere else and walk alone in the glory of that particularly architecturally beautiful city. I experience splendor there in those places. My eyes dancing up and down with wonder, full of people watching, never having to actually speak to a one, just look and walk among them. It is, some say, all they could ever want and need, and if you agree, I say go there. Remain there if it is most comfortable for you, or if you must, or if you really want to try, you can come here. You can stay a while with Our Lady. You cannot just visit. You must actually stay for a time. You'll need a car. You'll need a map. You'll need an intrepid spirit. You will need patience and time. And most of all, and trust me, thank goodness for this part, you will need people. Los Angeles is not a standalone city. It is not in itself a jewel. It stands on the shoulders of its gems. The ones who know this city well enough to explain the difference to starry-eyed tourists. The ones who can traverse a hipster scene and spot the few raised in LA and the thousands who are not. The ones who know this city is a place that gnaws its souls until they crack just to see if they can take it. The ones who fight with the jaded for all they perpetuate to fit this city and themselves into small silver screens. The ones you need to seek out and identify if you are to survive past two days without traps. Those who are looking for you as you are searching for them, but you really have to mean it. The searching, that is. And once you are willing to work that hard, then suddenly you find the gems who love you back. And loving this city is easy. Trust me. Thank you.